Hi, this is TG Garrick, and I'm back for another unboxing video, part of a series of me opening and tasting things that I got either in China or were waiting for me here um, when I got back. And this is a box from a company called TAV, and I actually won something on Twitter. <laughs> so this is a Twitter contest, and this is actually the box that gave me the idea to do this this series of unboxing videos because I was really excited to open to it and I, as you can see I already started to tear into a little bit and stopped and went I should do this on camera. So um, yeah I've never won anything on Twitter before and I'd actually never heard of this company TAV before so uh, their social media campaign worked because <laughs> not only did I win something but now, and now I know about the company but I'm also now showing other people on the internet about it. So um, i open it up and show you what I got. So uh, I got a couple samples, which I wasn't expecting. That's not what I won. I have a jasmine oolong, which is very interesting. I don't think I've ever had a jasmine scented oolong. So it's from Alishan, Taiwan, and it's scented with jasmine. Interesting. I'll have to, maybe I'll taste that on camera too. And then this is a magnolia oolong. And I'm wondering if now, if these are actually scented or if this is just the flavor of the tea. It's named after the flavor of the tea. Anyway, I love the way magnolias smell, so I'm very excited to taste this too. Um, cool, wasn't expecting samples. Uh, they sent me a nice letter, which uh, maybe I'll open up at the end and if there's anything exciting in it, I'll tell you about. So this is what I entered the contest to win. Very nice box, and let's see, how does it open? Oh, I got it upside down. So here's their logo. They have this really sweet custom-made box with the gold foil on it. Really nice. And inside is a really cool packaging design here. This is a foam rubber, and there's like a custom cut-out foam rubber here. Very fancy. Um, this is a tasting set. So if you haven't used one of these before, um, it's uh, this is the aroma cup for you to smell out of, and this is the tasting cup. So actually what I'll do maybe is just kind of wash these up real quick, and then I'll brew one of the samples that I got, and I'll show you how to use this if you've never used one before. Okay, I'm back, and I think I'm ready to brew this. Um, this is a Magnolia Oolong. And it smells absolutely phenomenal, and it is actually magnolia scented. There is, um, in here, there is a, a magnolia petal, flower petal, um, that right there. So I've never had anything magnolia scented before. This is really cool. I'm excited to taste this. Um, and, and I'll show you how this aroma cup and tasting cup work. And I've already uh, rinsed and warmed up my teaware, and I don't think I'm going to rinse this tea. Um, I really want to get that magnolia scent because um, if it is a scented tea, sometimes when you rinse the leaves, you'll get rid of the scenting, um, and I don't want to do that. So the purpose behind rinsing the leaves anyways is typically to um, remove any uh, pesticide residues and also to help the leaves open up. And I think I read on here that this was an organic farm, although I'm not sure now. Um, it's high mountain and a lot of the high mountain farms are organic. Actually, it doesn't say organic. I'm not sure if it is or not, but I'm not really too worried about it. Mmm, it smells really good. Really cool. It's not the like, it's not the same as the big evergreen bangolias that grow everywhere in California, because I think that would be kind of an overwhelming scent um, it's it's different. It's lighter somehow. So I'll show you now how to use this tasting set. So I'm going to pour my tea into the tasting cup, or the aroma cup, sorry. This is the aroma cup, the tall one. Then I'm going to place the tasting cup on top, like so. So it looks kind of like a mushroom. And then I'm going to flip it, and uh, carefully, because it's a little bit hot. And then the fun part is you lift this up and all the tea fits in the tasting cup 
and then I can use this to smell the magnolia fragrance and smell the aroma. It's actually pretty light um, in the brood tea, which is nice. Again, I think too, too much magnolia would have been a little bit uh, uh, overwhelming, but it does smell wonderful. It's good. Um, tell you what, I'm going to brew this a couple more times and then I'll come back and give you sort of my final impressions on, on this uh, uh, Magnolia Oolong from Tea Ave. Okay, I'm back and I've tasted this tea now through a second infusion and it's still quite good. It's um, uh, pretty light. I brewed it for quite a bit longer the second time. It's still a pretty light tea. It's got a nice body to it. It's sort of what you'd expect from a high mountain oolong that's scented with something. Um, the magnolia fragrance is really nice. It's not super overwhelming. It's to me not as uh, intensely floral as jasmine. And so this would be a, maybe a nice introduction to somebody who is not yet convinced that you know tea on its own can be uh, something amazing and delicious and wants something a little bit flavored, um, but you can really still taste the, the high mountain oolong flavors in there and they meld pretty well with the magnolia. It's not like the magnolia is just sitting on top. It actually does work with the, the flavors in the tea pretty well. Um, yeah, really tasty, really sweet, really nice. Um, I also opened the letter, um, the little letter they gave me, and there was included a $15 gift card, so that's really cool. So I'll be able to uh, taste some more of their teas, possibly, um, or maybe get some more of this magnolia oolong if I decide I like it. Um, also, in the letter, it told me that this came with a wooden tray, so I looked again at this box, and I'm doing these unboxing videos, but I'm apparently very bad at unboxing because I didn't notice that there's this little wooden dot right here. So the foam rubber piece comes out, and then there's a little trap door that comes out, and inside there is a wooden tray. And it's a really heavy wood. It's a nice quality. It's thick. Um, it's got, on the back, there... Their logo is engraved in, which I think is really cool. Um, so definitely a, a cool sort of branding effort by this company with the uh, gift with the logo on it and the, or the, the box, gift box with the logo and this with the logo. And the aroma set um, looks really awesome on this tray. So it actually is really classy looking. Um, very clean sort of Apple store <laughs> feel to it almost with the really light colored wood and the, the white ceramic uh, cups. Very kind of clean and modern looking design. So uh, anyway, that's it for this video unboxing of this TAV gift that I want on Twitter. Um, thanks again for sending me cool stuff. Um, all right, thanks. We'll see you in the next one.